friends, today we'll make art together to help you relax your mind so that you can have a deep sleep. If you're having trouble sleeping because you are overthinking or you're stressed out, this is a good exercise to try. I am Yu Jung and I'm an art therapist sharing creative art ideas you can try at home. Here are the materials you need. You need a box of some sort, a tea box, paper jewelry case, electronics box, any box that is made of paper will do. You also need scraps of fabric, tissue paper, color paper, or any paper of sorts. And any other decorative items like pom-poms, yarn, sticks, paint or even markers and you will need glue as well as a pair of scissors if you are having a hard time finding materials you can also substitute with just simple drawing or painting materials find a comfortable spot where you won't be disturbed and keep stimulations low like turning on lamps instead of the ceiling light or having candles and even gentle music. Our thoughts can bother us when we try to think through things and we get trapped in all the unending worries. So this exercise will help us find a place, quote unquote, where we can let these worries stay in instead of us holding on to them in our heads. Think of your box as a room or even a safe space where you can rest your thoughts, worries, and stressors. If you could create a space for your thoughts to stay as you yourself go to bed, what kind of place would that be? Would it be soft and cushiony? Is it bright or dark? Would it be cool or warm, spacious or filled with many different things? Imagine what would be the most restful place your thoughts can stay during the night. And create that space using the box and materials you have. Remember, there is no wrong way to do this. With this exercise, you are using your imagination and creativity to make it easier to literally rest your overactive mind by simply using the metaphor of a room where your thoughts can stay. In our therapy, we use a lot of metaphors like these to subconsciously and non-verbally address the stressors and difficult emotions we feel. So when we do this exercise, we subconsciously learn that we have the ability to calm our minds even without talking. Sometimes talking and thinking in words really makes us stressed out and anxious and worried. So to escape or stop this cycle of overthinking and talking in our minds all the time, we have to get into more of our bodies. We have to use our eyes. We have to use our hands. We have to physically create things and, and physically see what we create with our own eyes in front of us. So with this exercise, we can get more into our bodies, we can get more into our senses, and really use the metaphor of a room or space to allow ourselves, to give permission to ourselves to just let go of our thoughts and let them rest in a safe space.
to end this exercise, simply look at your thought room or thought rest room in different angles. Notice how this space or room makes you feel. And you can even imagine putting your thoughts in this space. Take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. Relax your shoulders and imagine putting your thoughts, all of those thoughts into this space, into this box and closing the lid so that they can just rest. You can even say something to reassure the thoughts that you'll come back to them, but not right now. Now is the time for both of you to rest. You can just remind yourself that you can sleep now and we can have a fresh start again tomorrow. You can put this box in a place where you can see or even in your closet and forget about it until tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this exercise. If you do want to make therapeutic art every week, I invite you to join my new group, the Therapeutic Art Making Group that I'm opening soon. Details will be in the description box below. Thank you so much for following along with this exercise. I hope you enjoy and I hope you have a good night's rest. Thanks and I'll see you again. Bye.